four five is famous, baby. Here we go. What's up, guys? It's your boy Huey, aka Huey with the chip, aka I like my chips with the dip, and welcome to another episode, uh, an illustrious episode of Happy Hour with the Crew. This is the crew. To my left, I got my, you know, my guy. You know, introduce yourself. What's your name, man? My name's Ty. Uh, I go by TK Diamond. Sometimes. No. Felipe. This dude calls me Felipe behind the camera and the cooking shit. Felipe. Um, You're not going to say a sexy mega pop star? No, we don't don't talk about that. Okay. And then to my right, our special guest of the day, New Britain's own. Holla at him, holla at him, holla at him. Yeah. K-M-O-B, Millions of Bars, um, Mills. Tell him. Picasso Talk gang, uh, I'm from MB, hard hit and stand what? up. Y'all already know what time it is. 12, 12 26. Yeah. Oh, he was asking. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, my, my, my bad. It's straight. It's straight. My bad. You, you, got good, you, you good. Listen, listen. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I want to ask you guys is there anything you guys want to particularly talk about to get this thing going? Anything? You don't have nothing? Um, I can not see. right now, I mean, we're going we gonna, to we gonna let it roll. So, since we missed last week because the Kobe thing a couple weeks ago, Kind of push things back. I want to talk about the Super Bowl because we didn't get a chance to speak about that. Um, I don't like to go first. So Mills, this year Super Bowl, you watched it? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. Tell me what you thought about. It was uh, it was dope. Um, both teams, you know, crazy. Crazy. Yeah, I'm uh, def- definitely definitely crazy good teams. Uh, I was definitely I definitely wanted Andy Reid to get it though. Yes. Because I mean, you yes. know, I'm, I'm, I'm an Eagles fan and all yes. that, so. He, he used yeah. to coach us back then. He ain't, he ain't really get one when he was with us, but it's not I, was, I was definitely happy to see him win that. Uh, plus, I, I hate, but, but I hate every team anyway in the NFL yeah. besides the Eagles. So, I mean, That's how I feel. It was a cool game. I, I know he's not happy. <laughs> no, it, it, it's straight. <laughs> you could just I mean, tell the people how you feel. Because you, you got some other things to worry about this offseason. I'm a Patriots fan, so, you know, Boo. Jimmy G, Jimmy G. Boo. I wanted to see him do it. I wanted to see him do it himself. Why? Why? Because fuck that guy. That's what I was saying. I respect him. Um, Good guy. Better shout guy. out to Patrick Patrick Mahomes. Are you scared of Patrick Mahomes as a Patriots fan? No. Not not because because there's only one there's only one guy. <laughs> not even a little boy. No, there's only one guy. There's only one guy that can beat him in the playoffs. And that guy's like fifty. Proven. Yeah, and <laughs> I'm talking about going forward. Are you scared of him? No. <laughs> you better keep worrying about Tennessee, man. Oh, shit. Damn. What's your favorite team in the NFL? Oh, Eagles. Yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah, I don't yeah. even know why I had a double ass guy. I was about to say, I hope you don't like some random team. But, wait a minute. This man, we had this argument at a bar. He's like, the Chiefs are just not that good. They're not. <laughs> like, he's dead ass serious. I mean, he's, they just won the Super Bowl. I don't know. They, they've been, They're a they've good been, team they've been tough for a couple of good, for a couple of years. <laughs> like my man just scored twenty one points in a, ten minutes in the Super Bowl against the Niners defense to win. You're not scared of him? No, we already beat him. That's it. And guess what? Brady's coming back. Whip. That's a nice transition thing. You want to hear how I felt about the Super Bowl? I don't care. Eagles didn't win. Um, Fact. That's a good transition. Where do you think Tom Brady's gonna end up? I'm hoping he's gonna end up back in New England. You're hoping. Where um, do you think? Ooh. I mean, speculation, the Raiders. Oh, that's weird. Um, honestly, the the Raiders, the Chargers, but I can't really see him going to L.A. So, I I've seen things in the in the media saying that the Patriots will pay him. Hopefully, he's gonna come back. But he wants weapons. He wants. He doesn't even care about the money. I saw something saying as long as he got weapons, he's gonna come back and kill everybody. Patrick Mahomes, be careful. Cause that fifty-year-old man is coming for you, two times. Twice on the sun, baby. He's gonna he's gonna see that guy's face in the AFC Championship next year and be like, damn. And Brady's gonna go up to him and be like, it's gonna look all good on the cameras. He's gonna be like, you like remember that year? Yeah, I'm gonna do that shit to you again. Uh, that arm, that arm is looking a little flabby. Man. What do you think like, he's gonna like? He had a little extra, extra bacon fat on his arm this season. Extra bacon fat. He was fat. throwing that shit up and it was just. Dying, yeah, just dying like Nerf, he's like doing like a little Nerf football or something. He he had no one to work with. He ain't gonna throw the ball confidently Deflated to people. He don't know. Listen, no, first of all, that was proven that <laughs> it wasn't true. Listen, where do you think Tom Brady's gonna end up? 
I don't know. I think he'll stay. Yeah, I I think think, stay. I, I'm praying. I mean, I, I feel, I'm I feel pretty like, sure. I feel like, you know, since, you know, how you got the NBA and all that stuff getting twisted up, our team, players switching teams and all that stuff like that, I feel like, you That's know, why I think it's going to happen in the NFL. There. I feel like he's going to start his legacy there. He's going to end it there. Mm. Nah, see, what Patriots I got going gonna, on. They're they, they going to give him the bread, and they, they, and they might. They just might get some nah, weapons. Who knows? Forget that. I got him going to a new team. Where? I got Phillip Rivers going to a new team. Oh, yeah. I got Phillip Cam Rivers Newton going. Phillip Rivers well, should retire. I got Cam Newton going to a new team. It's yeah, gonna Cam, be a, Cam's going to the Bears. It's going to be a whole new NFL. I don't think Brady's coming back just for the simple fact he wants to tell Brother Chick, yeah. suck these balls. I'm going to go get a ring without you. He's going to try to do the Kobe. And I, I do. I Honestly, like, as a, as a Brady fan, as a Patriots fan, I want him to come back. But as a Brady fan, I want him to prove himself that he's not, it's not the system. It's him. It's him. You know what I mean? Let's see. Well, fuck the NFL because that's over with. Has anyone seen the All-Star teams this year? No. No, look, look it up. Uh, like a little bit. roster. I don't have. Yeah, it. look, look it up. Okay. Look, oh, Mills, four, you look it up. They bought the full roster. Listen, up. how this is gonna be? It's I mean, Team Giannis know. or Giannis. How do you say this motherfucker's name? All, all I know is that my boy Luka Doncic is going. Ah, the Mavericks. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Mavericks like fan. Three of them. Shout out Dallas Mavericks, man. You like feel me? Doncic land. Doncic land. That sounds like a fucking racist community. <laughs> <laughs> I would not hang up. Yo, you coming to Doncic? Nah, man. They ran us out of there. They're not good people over there. When you see these all-star team lineups, you're gonna. I just want you guys to pick, and it's not fair because they drafted these, by the way. I want to let you know, LeBron picked his team and Giannis picked his team. That's how they did it. Yeah, that's what they do. They go draft one, 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 one. Like they each get a pick. Okay, Team LeBron. That's Team LeBron. Team LeBron is Anthony Davis, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Luka Doncic, what and the hell? James. <laughs> team Giannis is starting five is. Giannis, Joel Embiid, Pascal Siakam, Kemba Walker, and Trey Young. Damn, <laughs> yo, that's like monster. That's like the monsters. That's like the monsters. The bench for the for Giannis's team is Bam Adebayo, Brandon Ingram, Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Kyle Lowry, Chris Middleton. Um, a lot of average fans of the NBA don't know who the fuck I just mentioned at all. Now look into the bench for LeBron's team. Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, <laughs> Nicole jo- Jokic, Ben Simmons, D- DeMontis Imagine Sabonis. Imagine an actual team. Jason Tatum, Russell Westbrook. That'd be sick. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It was like, that's like, this shit would be like a mega blowout. <laughs> Yo, and the crazy thing is they picked these teams. Even though the All-Star game was like, eh. I was, me, but I, people I, just I, watching for the... No, when they dropped the teams, all that crazy stuff. Yeah, definitely. when they dropped the teams, I thought they were just announcing who's the all stars. And I'm like, Team LeBron. Wait, I'm like, you just get. Yeah, that's. So that's on this, this Valentine's Day weekend. Take your girl out, go watch the All Star game, and tell her you love her. Oh yeah, facts. It is this weekend, right? Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. That's you, what, yeah, that's what we about to do. Yeah, that's yeah. We about to incorporate that plan, so we both sides is happy. See, and if you are one of those girls out there that need to come up, Chicago's the place this weekend. That's where they're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> need to come up. Good luck. Go out there. It's cold, though. It's so cold. I know a lot of y'all don't got no jackets. But they don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear a jacket. <laughs> or a coat or whatever. Because you don't got one. <laughs> okay, f- speaking of girls going to Chicago, I have this question for you guys. Is it okay to fly a girl out on a vacation if you've never met her in person? Hell no. <laughs> you meet one of them Instagram models, and she wants you to fly out because you're going on a trip. You never met her, but, but you. But, but we know she's an Instagram model for sure. Yeah. Like she's a, known, she's a known. She's a known Instagram model. Yeah, yeah. It's not a, it's not a scam, but you just never met her. I never met her, in person. And you're saying fly her out for a vacation? Yeah, like you about to go to the Turks and Caicos. She wants to go. You got the bread. You. She wants you to fly out. Going to Boca. Going to Boca, with the boys. She wants you to fly her out. Will you? Do, is it a go? Okay, then yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I mean I'm tired I'm tired right now, so if I'm No no I'm not no I'm but, not but listen, you know but like nah I I just on a hypothetical I ain't tricking man. That's that's like <laughs> it's, it's gonna be more than so, the flight. It's gonna be more than the flight. She's gonna be like, yo, well, copy this, but you copy got that. but you got the bread. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just out here on the flight. You know how future these niggas fly bitches. Yo, yeah. I still ain't never been into that. I probably won't even So you won't do it for Yeah, I probably won't even begin begin the habit of doing like, shit like that. used to some shit like that. I mean if I was smart, I would try to Find out a little bit about her. Like, if I got the money, I'll, I'll do like a little background check and just yeah, see. Bro, that's good. But honestly, I, but you've never met her in person. But honestly, you like, you don't know for breath stain. Yeah. You don't know for pussy stain. 
Pop well, you her out you there. find yeah, that shit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, but you, you just spent like ten grand to get her out there. But if I got the bread, fuck it. Pay for a shower. The next, the next thing you know, shit. From you go to the club. You come back, you fall asleep, everything in the crib, in the hotel room, gone. Fuck it, it's the hotel room. Gone. It's everything the... gone, you just stuck. So. You gotta watch out for shit like that. Man. Yeah, see, so, that's the shit I won't watch out for. See, I don't think. That's, that, that's great shit because I was in the flux of like, I might, dog. Depending uh, on what the hell yeah, is. No. I would. Depending on what it is. No, knowing that she's an Instagram model, it's who she is, and she's like. I just think I might be on one of those things where like, I got like 10 mil. I just got rich, and I'm like, I'm trying to do the craziest shit. I'm flying. To In that hell. situation, that's a that's a live and learn thing. So it's like, all right, yeah, next time, next because. time, I might meet her in person first, and then bring. I'm one of those like, people that do I shit just go just for because. it. Hell yeah, I go for it. And if yeah. it didn't work out, well, the next I, time I know. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm be lying. I'd be like, I mean, I lived on the edge before gone. Like, that's, like, like that's, that's too much on the edge. Yeah, that shit. All right. So keep the topic on women because it's so funny. All right. What is it too fast to say that you love? Got a girl you fucked with. Too fast. When is it too I fast? mean, what's the what's the limit? First, if you feel okay, like okay. It, you can't put a time limit on that shit. You can't. You first, really don't. First day. So if, if, if you I mean, fu- not, not, if you fell in love on the first day you saw her and you know you did, you you, you got to hold that shit in. <laughs> okay. You got to hold, you gotta hold the, it in. It's different. You playing you playing with different. You playing with different cards. I feel like when you like just what? boom. You feel me? That shit. Like it might get kind of weird. You might back off because yeah. I mean, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> just I said I probably love you probably like a month. Yeah, you could keep feel me and then. Oh, whoa, 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 what you mean? Like, you feel me shit like that? Uh, I, I said, I. <laughs> <laughs> what you said? I said, I said, look. <laughs> you try to hold off when you say that shit, like, hold you all like, like, Nah, straight, I gotta go outside. So, you, so you're gonna give it, what, three months? Six months? I mean, yeah, probably, probably after that. I mean, it depends, you know? Depends on what it is, how, how, you, how I hit off. What about you? So, the way I would handle the situation is first date, you know, you pull up, pull up to her crib. Mm-hmm. Get out, open the car door for her. Yeah, sweetheart. She gets in, close it, get in the driver's side, close the door, look at her and go, I fucking love you. Oh, shit. The first time you meet her? First time I meet her. What we haven't gone on a date. What if you don't love her? I probably do. <laughs> <laughs> so he feels in love. He just loves you. So girls, he's already lo- If you're looking for someone to love you, we have a pre-packaged lover. He comes fully assembled with love. Twenty nine ninety five a month. Oh, shit. He has a payment fee. I ain't know that. I, I mean, know. that's not bad shit. I mean, thirty dollars a month. It's cheaper than forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and these bitches do need forty dollars. I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about telling a girl you love her. I think it depends on the girl. Now you just know there's a girl that you've been with that you just had. You probably were friends first, yeah. and you always had a thing like you had like this weird connection with her, and then you finally crossed that line, and you probably love her already because you knew her as a person before. So. I think it all depends on the girl. Now, if you just bagged this shorty and she gave you the grease and the grease was sticky icky and you just don't know why you love her, you think you love her, you don't, please don't say you love her. Please. Because she gonna, you're going to be in the group chat with the homegirls and the homegirls going to be like, yo, I let this thing hit once. He loves me. And it's going to be a bad look for you, fellas. So my rule on love is love at your own discretion. Love at your own discretion. Yeah. And don't kiss these hoes in the mouth. But love at your, love your, you know, love at your own discretion, fellas. He's in a committed relationship. He stated that. Yeah, I'm, cool, I'm not going to get cool. him in trouble anymore with these girl questions. Nah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> he going to go home. This shit going to come out. She going to watch it. She but gonna, don't be a sucker for love. He going to gonna get the text and have the LeBron face like, we got something to talk about later. And he got he, a Michael Jordan cry face. He going to be like, damn, I should never fuck with that nigga staying on that podcast. <laughs> okay. Said, okay. We sipping Modelo. Modelo, that's it. Okay. Now you say you don't really watch this shit, UFC. Yeah, nah, that, nah. I like a- at all, you like boxing. Yeah. My actual boxing question: Tyson Fury, uh, Deontay Wilder coming up, part two. I think Deontay Wilder gonna give it to him. Ain't gonna knock him out. Yeah, he go. I'm, yo, he dropped him a couple times. It was like four or five times last fight. Was I don't know how that fight was. It was a draw, right? Yeah, and it ended up yeah something like that. I was like, what? Huh. That's crazy. But I mean, they was both getting it in. So you think? Well, you know, I want to see. I want to see. Uh. Deontay Wilder get it, you know, black excellence and all that. Okay. You, you know. think you think there's gonna be a McGregor Mayweather too? For what? 
I don't know. He posted it. He posted money, it for the money. Yeah, of course. It's always, but what, what is it ever? Of course, I'm gonna watch it. It's always for the money. That's the sick part. Is nobody? I'm gonna definitely. I'm gonna definitely watch it. I had a big ass you barbecue in my face. I was back. <laughs> niggas put the fucking the big ass white blanket outside. I had the projector and shit facing the house. Yeah, when we cooking out, we had like thirty people there watching that shit. He had a barbecue for it just to watch Mayweather scrape this dude. So oh. I think they're gonna probably do part two. I hope they do it in UFC style though. Yeah, that won't Switch happen. It up. Nah, it won't happen. I think it might. I don't know. He would die. I don't think so. Mayweather ain't come back to fight no damn body. He got a strip club and a jet. <laughs> <laughs> He's at a point in life where that's all he really needs. <laughs> he could still come back, though, and get it in there. He's like 43. 40. He wanted to. He'll take the money. Sharp. He is sharp. Boy, sharp. That boy is sharp. I don't think he'll fight anybody that matters. You know, he couldn't fight like a, what's this dude's name? Terrence Crawford. Young boy. Yeah, young boy. Yeah, Terry Crawford. He couldn't handle that. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to get into some shit about Mills. Because if you don't know who Mills is, Mills is, you know, a spitter. Millions of bars. Yeah, something like that. You know, and um, I want to get into what you guys are cooking up. You uh, signed a Picasso gang, right? Independently yeah, watered yeah. bread, which is dope as hell to me, I think. So, you know, give us a little what you guys got going on in 2020. Um... 2020, what we what we in February? We in February fe- right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we came off, you know, we had a strong ending for the winter. Uh, did a went on a little tour, you know, Kevin Gates, Magnus Stallion, you know, artists of that sort. But 2020, you know, we got a uh, we getting ready to drop a video, getting all the promo and all that stuff built up for that right now. Uh, what you know about? We shot that in um, South Carolina at the car show. Me and Banger Real, shout out to Banger. Yeah, shout out to Banger. Um, I gotta get Banger out here. And then we got a joint that you know that we secretly you know working on is getting ready to push uh, the homie uh, Chill Shump. Shout out! Oh Shump, yeah, Shump. we got to give Shump a big shout out. Definitely. Congratulations on that placement on that funeral album from Little Wayne. Uh, that's yeah, major. Facts. That's major as shit. I don't think like be. that's a Little Wayne album and a producer that went to the same high school as a bunch of us has got a beat for Little Wayne. So that's big. Shout out to Shump. But but um yeah, we got a got a joint. Me banger scrap nice. Get ready for that. It's called Thuggin. Um, so, get ready to do South by Southwest next month as well. Oh, you guys do that frequently? Yeah, every year, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We try to try to do it every year. Keep it hot. You know, go down there, work, network, keep it um, consistent and stuff like and that. And what would you say to any artists out in Connecticut about what the South by Southwest do for y'all? Is it, um, is it a good investment for you guys to get take your eyes yeah, yo, down it, it, is, it is. I mean, it is. If you got your promo work right and all that, um, down there, you were ready to hustle and you get into these to these different shows and you get on certain cards and stuff like that and you actually ready to build, then take that shot, man. Go down there and get it in no matter what you do. Uh, spoken word, rap, jazz, whatever. If you got a talent in the music field, even f- even festival, I mean, uh, film and all that stuff like that, you nice with the camera, there's plenty, plenty of opportunity to work down there. Uh, I think it's definitely important. Yeah, that's for what I like. Artists. And I peeped about you guys. You guys don't sit in Connecticut and make the music. You guys bounce. And y'all go push your music in other places because what people don't realize is the world is a lot bigger than your area and touching if your song is popping in four or five different other states you can go to four or five you don't have to just do it at home you can get on the road and let's go do something and that's how you start to really make yourself people really take you legitimate when they yeah. see oh shit he's not just in connecticut doing this shit they were down there for a few days a week to go handle business so that's what i really respect about you yeah, guys but everybody, everybody playing work for them however they want to spend it so i mean but at the end of the day, we, we know what we do and we know what works for us and stuff like that. Nice. You know, it takes to be solid, especially, you know, getting that early training and grind because you, you want it when you're going to be moving around like crazy, driving here to there and all of that. I done did every traveling method you could probably <laughs> think of except for the train. We ain't doing the train. The train suck. Except for the train, train. You feel me? I done fun. drove from here to there, all kind of shit for this. So take a lot of... A lot of hard work. That's all I'm going to say. And, 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 and try getting where you fit in. I got a couple more music questions. Can I get a time check? Ten minutes. You got ten minutes left? Perfect. Okay. So, since we're talking about local talent here, do uh, you have any local artists that you've been peeping that you you, you want to give a shout out to that you see doing their thing that um, they may not know that you see them, but you want to hey, I see you. Let's, let's do something. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, there's a couple of uh, shout out Prince Aki, man. Feel me, hard hitting. Everybody hard, anybody hard hitting, pretty much. 
Don't say everybody, cause everybody, not everybody nice. Like, 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 yeah, you know, you know, you know, not everybody nice, but you know, you know the ones who's nice. You know the ones who stick. I want to hear a name, cause yeah. I got a name. I want to shout out that young boy Bishop from New Brick. Never. It's hard, boy. Somebody got put me on. I haven't what? Heard, I haven't heard him. After this, yo, boy. Yeah, somebody got put me on. Yeah, I was just talking to um E, fucking Evan. Yo, I'm like Bishop, nigga. He's like, well, I'm like this young Bishop, dog. I was like, he about to set the city on fire. How old is that kid? You know how old he is? Nineteen. Nine? Yeah, a, that's crazy. I ain't heard him. Oh boy. Yeah, I need, I need to hear something. Oh yeah. I definitely need to hear something. He um he was on a um I don't know if you know Zip. Stray, yeah, yeah, he was on yeah, a record I with him. I 16. Up a couple times. I heard him on 16 the first time. I'm like, who the f is this kid, dog? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna put you on something. I got, I'm looking at Bishop right now. That's my, yeah, you know. But shout, yeah, shout out to everybody who working in CT, man. It is, it's big to see, and it's good to see everybody, you know, pushing, trying to put on for the state. Cause I ain't even going front. A lot of places I've been through, you oh. know, except for you know the the, the the major cities that everybody talk about, your Atlanta's and all that stuff like that. I mean, CT, like we. We, we work hard and we Definitely. try to get to it and shit. So, a lot of talent. Everybody keep hustling, man. A lot our of shit, talent. Man. You know you're gonna see our shit. You know Picasso Gang, GPMG Records, Shaw GP, Shaw Rug, Shaw Scrap, Shaw Heck Night, Shaw Everybody. Put the whole team on. That's Tell me. Oh um, yeah. yeah. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna stay hustling. Nah, I can keep watching you guys. It's been some years working. I've been they they've been working. Trust me, they've been working. They've been working. So especially Bang, I know she's been working for years too. So when I saw you guys linked up, I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah, hell yeah. That was a beautiful matchup. Those things just happen. It's like, some things just happen. T.Y., you got anything you want to put in? Anything you want to talk about? You know, Munchy Crew, keep watching. Stay tuned. We got lots more coming. I got nothing else. I'm tapped out. Yeah. That's all I got, baby. Nah. Okay, one last question. Since this is the happy hour, right, the edition of Munchy Crew, give me... Your top three munchies. My top three munchies. Like, yo, I'm, I don't know. As of lately and shit, I've been turning to like a fucking like pig, my nigga. I've been eating all kind of crazy <laughs> shit. Straight hog. Like, yo, snacks, are like, I'm snacks has been lit. I've probably oh. never eaten more snacks ever in the past like year. Real shit. But, um, I like, I like nachos with the, like, with the cheese, you know, chips mm. with the dip. You already know, Paul's. Chips Tell with me. The dip. Um, yo. Ice cream, like fucking chocolate chip cookie dough. That's Facts. another one, my nigga. That's another one. That's another one. And then you know, I, you know, since I'm you know a little chef and all that, I'll be getting my shit popping. You know, I'll probably whip up some crazy shit. So you never know. I'll be making like the craziest shit in the world. Oh, we gonna get you on a munchie crew. See yeah. what you got. Got to. Got to see what's popping, man. I'll throw you behind. Yeah, you got to see what's popping. Put you with. Throw you. See what you got behind that that kitchen. A little whip game. What should I? Should I? Yeah, you know, should I? <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> that's all it gotta be is I. T Y. What's your top three munchies? Um, definitely number one is pizza. Pizza. Pizza all pizza. day. I keep pizza. I saw day. someone post something about pizza with ketchup. No, I almost yeah, deleted my that's, Facebook. <laughs> that's, just, that's that's weird. <laughs> I yeah. dead ass almost got rid of pizza. Um, wings. Yeah, well, yeah, wing, yeah wings. wings is always a go to. Um, and then if I had to go, just you know, I can't get to a restaurant. Probably go like Doritos, chips, any kind of chips. I'm addicted to chips. Spicy nachos. You can't just have one. Yeah. Yo, what? Dog, no, I made. I'm telling you, I made a nacho with some spicy Doritos. Hell yeah, that shit was amazing. Episode two or three, nah, somewhere remember. around there. I don't remember. My favorite munchies are tacos. Actually, it might have been our first episode. It, it was. was. Episode one. Y'all be eating a lot of tacos lately, too. I ain't even going to front. Yeah, y'all be eating a lot of tacos. Yeah, man, none of y'all said some tacos. I know. I I some banging tacos. I know Taco Bell tacos. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about what I've been eating this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a week thing. I've been eating a lot of tacos my whole life. Um, I eat a lot of tacos. Um, nacho. No, no quesadillas. Tacos, quesadillas. And then, like, my guilty pleasures, McDonald's. Yeah. Like, some hot and every time I'm super McDonald's. baked, they have to I tell them you have to drop me new fries. Yeah, shout out to that and McDonald's that niggas just had two up the street. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's why I'm thinking about McDonald's. I just ate some. But sets, I think that's all I have for you guys. I think that was it. I think we covered some good shit. Um, we would love to thank Mills for taking some time out of his day, coming and kicking with the crew. I got here at love. the happy hour. You already know. Um, I would like to thank my man Jordan behind the production here at 45, holding yep. it down for us while we do this. Um, my man T Y for always being the right hand, left hand man in the in the chat and in, in the trap, in trap. The trap. yeah, in the trap, in the, <laughs> the trap. So thank you guys for watching. You got anything else to say to the folks? 
Tip. That's it. Oh, by the way, my man shoots videos. You do music. You guys should do a video. Yeah, link me, man. Yeah, you know, that's they got my number. We change numbers now. You, you know, take a little ride. And this that's is what this show is about: trying to bring the city together, bring the local talent, and not just the city, but in the state. And you know, open your eyes to more opportunities. It's the Munchie Crew. This is me. This is them. That's you. We are out. Peace.